previous video, I've shown you how to ideate using random lines and circles uh, using uh, straight lines from page 2 to page 6, which is lines and circles. All right, if you have not watched the video, please go back to the previous video and watch it and complete your exercise before we proceed to the next exercise, which is on page 7. All right, so before we proceed, uh, let us label the ideas so that it's easier for us to identify them. So this one will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right then, carry on to do the next page and the next page until page 6, which I have done. Uh, I've done this, I did this uh, just before the video. All right then, from the 25 design, choose two that are that you like the best. All right, so choose two that you like best. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to choose uh, 20. All right, I think 20 is good. I've already done, uh, I've already chosen one beforehand. So I've already chosen uh, 11 as well. So now I'll choose 20. Okay, so for, so once you've chosen, it's time to uh, go to the next exercise, which is on page 7. So in, in this page, page 7, I've also done one that, uh, done, done one that's before, done one beforehand, that I've already uh, used uh, sample uh, idea 11 to go through with you All right so from idea 11 I've traced here then I do a mirror image okay then uh, I proceed to do a mirror image on the other orientation so now same idea idea 11 but I have two further design on this okay I'm going to show you how you can make this or how you can actually sketch this out okay uh, but i will use the other design which is design 20 to show you that so now you have design 20 right and you have also darkened the outline let, let me darken a bit more okay, so that you can uh, see better and put it as underneath Okay, remember you need to darken them okay uh, put a little more force when you go through the lines again okay but remember the lines that need to be straight has to be straightened so on the outmost left of the page development okay so you have a rectangular template so you put it under exactly right under the rectangular rectangular template Okay, then uh, try to match the sides of the... You should be able to see through, okay, not very clear, but you should be able to see through quite, uh, quite visibly, alright? Then you should still see the design, alright, all right, although it's at the back, but the paper will allow you to sort of see through. So, okay, so once you have aligned them, you can just, with your see-through, just okay, go through the lines. Okay, so just do a check. Alright, so it's not the line. So just raise a little bit. Okay, so this is the line. And that other one will go here. Okay, so you can as always uh, just do a check by flipping to the back. Okay. okay, that's right. Okay, so the other one is here and here. here and then and you see, okay, so it's here. Okay, so that's the design in the middle portion. Okay, then the rest we will just do the same. Basically, this is just a trace out of your design idea 20. Okay, I can write down 20 here because this is the design that I've chosen. All right. Go through the lines again to make sure that they are or round is okay done. 
So now we're going to put the same design first on the left side, then on the right side. Okay, the middle line is actually a mirror. Okay, so we're going to do a mirror image later. I'm going to show you how. So we will just put on the left side first. Do the same thing, similar. Okay, so put this here so that uh, it's in the middle of the camera. Okay, this one, the alignment is important. Okay, try as much as you can. Make sure the alignment is there. Okay, so there you go. line you don't actually have to draw it okay you can leave the middle line the mirror uh, the mirror image line leave it blank okay so they don't have to darken it then same now you will do it on the second image which is the right side okay similarly same thing put it on the right side here okay, I'm gonna move the each, uh, page so that is in the middle of the So now, same thing. You can't really see very well, but I have uh, one image on my right side, so I will just take reference from there. You can see the points where I need to join. So same thing here, I do not need to darken the image, the mirror image line. You can just Rest. Okay, so once my line is straight enough, I can just uh, go through again and then button it. Okay, now I will now flip this underlay to become overlay. Alright, so remember this is 20. 20 now, I'll put it on the, the right side of the first design. Okay, the first uh, first box here. Sorry, the third box okay, from the left. Okay, I'll flip it over and then try to align them as much as possible. Just do a check. Make sure they're aligned. Do a check. Okay, so once it's done, I will now trace the line. Same for this side. The, mi the mirror line, I don't, I don't have to trace it. Okay. If you can't see very well, then just uh, flip it a little bit. Okay. Okay. Not all the time you can see very well. It's a circle, but actually it's coming to here. Okay. So I have to erase. Erase this line, this right, this axis. Okay. The rest are the same. So once I've done that, I can actually flip it over. Now I can see a mirror image. Okay. Now I will proceed to do the fourth box. Okay, the fourth box. This side. Okay, do the same thing. Align them. Align them well. And then Go through the line again. Okay, the line where my design is supposed to be. Okay, once I'm done, I just look at the way that I can see my design. So I will now proceed to darken them. Okay, try to because this is supposed to be me 
mirror image so I can take reference from the right side so this basically gives me a guide on how I can I can project them onto a like a mirror image okay, like a book open up so the rest I can just straighten them if you're not confident in drawing the line straight you can use a ruler that's no problem okay, but for quick uh, sketching and design I'll just use free hand okay, because we're still in development part here so we're not in presentation drawing so we can just uh, use a free hand to sketch this out so this one is actually a hole in the middle of the metal piece okay so this part is the part that we will cut out That's how the design looks like. Okay, so that gives that gives us a very good visual of how this random line has developed to become two separate design based on the mirror line that's in the middle. Okay, remember to put your name at the bottom before we move on. Okay, so now we have two separate uh, design with mirror images okay page 7 uh, with two design okay so now we are ready to move on to the next exercise